Ever since the Parsis have arrived at the coast of Gujarat from Iran, they have blended smoothly here in India. They have been a very loyal community and contributed immensely to India's growth, even though they are very small in population. This industrious and intelligent community learned English when the British were here. This helped them to settle down in Mumbai far. And when the British needed help in Pune where they had set up a military camp, some of them shifted to Pune. Quite a few settled here permanently and their contribution to various fields, especially the medical field in Pune, has been immense. Rasta Pit in the central Pune as the fire temple, place of worship for Pasta. One of the temples in Narayan Pit is called as Modi Ganpati as the Modi was found in garden of Kushrat Sikh Modi, a Parsi. Sir Jamshetji Jiji boy, who had shifted to Pune along with his business partner, donated generously to build a dam or a band across the Mulamutha River. This is today called the Band Garden. The Parsi Gym or Gymkhana has also been an age-old institution. The food scene in Pune is incomplete without the Parsi food joints and the shops which are there on the MG Road and Camp area. The Dorakchis have been dishing out delicious dishes and beverages, while the Kayanis have been known for the wafers and Shrewsbury biscuits. Masurin, which started as a famous sandwich joint, now caters to a large variety of food and is a place to relax with friends and family. Two schools in the central Pune showcase the contribution of Parsis to the education field. N.D. Nagarwala or NOS, who studied in Pune and played for Maharashtra, founded National Model School which was renamed as Erin Nagarwala School. The Stur High School is another school established by a Parsi in Pune. The legacy of Thermax Group established by Rohinta Naga was carried forward brilliantly by Padma Shri Anuaga, his wife. She is a well-respected name in the industry and the social sector. Her legacy is being carried forward by her capable daughter Meher Padamji. Contribution of Parsi community to the medical field in Pune has been one of the biggest. The rich businessman David Sassun from Baghdad, when came to Pune along with his business partner Sir Jamshedji Gigi Boy, they started a hospital which is now known as Sassoon General Hospital. The biggest civil hospital in Pune by Ram Gigi who had established various educational institutes in Mumbai, started a medical college in Pune, today known as the famous BJ Medical College. Edelji Koyaji, who owned a small clinic in Pune, decided to build a big hospital to serve the people in the plague pandemic in the 19th century. This hospital was named after the son of Kowasji Jahangir and Lady Hirabai, who gave the land to build this hospital. This is known as the Jahangir Hospital. Kaiki Behramji, who worked as a cardiologist in Jahangir Hospital, decided to build his own hospital. It was named after the wife of then Governor General who donated the land for this. Today, it is known as the Ruby Hall Clinic. Sardar Mutliar owned a maternity hospital in the Rastapet area of Pune. He was facing some difficulties running it. He asked for help from Jahangir Hospital, where Adilji Koyaji handed over the responsibility to his able sister-in-law, Banu Koyaji. Dr. Banu Koyaji dedicated her whole life to build this hospital and bring it to glory. Today, it is known as KEM Hospice. She is fondly respected by all Punekas for her contribution in the medical as well as the social field. In the modern era, Cyrus Punawala established the Serum Institute of India, which is known as the major vaccine manufacturer in the world. Today, it is being led by the able son, Adar Punawala. Cyrus Punawala has also built a hospital in the memory of his wife, Vilu Punawala, in the Harapsar area of Pune through his trust. Parsis have never forgotten the help offered to them by Indians in the old times. These staunch nationalists have put an immense contribution to Pune as well as India. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get more updates and such interesting info. And click on the bell icon. Bye. Bye.